On this installment of Eyes on the March, we explore the world of perverts for profits through the eyes of Dan Manchin, founder of the magazine Sex Dirt. Who could forget their famous slogan? Dirt for dirt's sake. But how did Dan Manchin turn his own sick thoughts into big money? It is big business. First, a merchant of perversion must know their audience. Perhaps they were interested in women taking their clothes off. Perhaps they have a feline contraction fetish. Or perhaps, like Dan Manchin, they prefer a gentle woodworking. There truly is a perversion for everybody. Homosexuals, lesbians, sadists, masochists, and other sex deviants. Oh, that's right, Dan. To make money using perversion, one must target young consumers, teach them about human sexuality, then sell it to them. Once hooked, they will be your consumers for life. Another way to make money is with Randy Stories. Here's one of Dan's. Sex? That's a kick. Sure, damn good one. A guy can't ever get enough of that. Drinking? That's another kick. An okay kick. Marijuana? Sure. Damn's good, too. You're right. That one isn't good. Try again, Dan. Taking a girl's cherry is a hell of a gratifying thing. And so is murder. Okay, Dan, why don't we... An old man, slowly die. What Dan is saying is that perversion can be monetized through publication and... And again, the breast fetish. And film. An old man, slowly die. For profit. While some say that young boys are the only consumers worth chasing, women are just as savvy consumers of perversion. Slowly die. Who do you think is controlling those purse strings anyway? Right, Dan? This is true. That's our boy. So by finding your favorite perversion, finding the perverts who want that sweet juice and publishing it, you can make your perverted dream into a fiscally responsible, questionably consenting reality. Isn't that right, Dan? A young boy in Philadelphia raped and killed a five-year-old girl. Okay, Dan. It looks like outstanding news reporter and wealthy magazine pervert Dan Manchin has taken it too far this time. For it is not perverted sex that corrupts, but perverted sex money. Please pray for Dan Manchin, sex criminal and editor-in-chief of Sex Dirt, and send your excess money to Lucky Strike Cigarettes. I couldn't feel very proud of calling an old man, but at least I could say that I'd scored.